Hello everyone, welcome to Semi Homesteading with Abby. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new here, I am on a quest to become a homesteader and better homemaker. Anything around the house or any homesteading things, I am trying to learn. I usually learn like a new skill each week, try to master it, and it's been very fun so far. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of those videos. Today we're doing something very, very fun and a little bit controversial because today is actually October 30th. It is a Sunday, which means that tomorrow is Halloween and is on a Monday. This presents a little bit of a problem because my husband and I usually try to decorate for Christmas the day after Halloween. We are big into decorating for Christmas early, so November 1st we always decorate for Christmas. That's just not going to happen if Halloween is on a Monday night. We have a lot of decorating to do. We just moved into this house and it's a lot bigger than our previous condo. So in order to do it right, we're going to need to go to Michael's probably, get some more things. My aunt and uncle also have some stuff that my grandma had and decorated her house with that we can use now. We are just going to need to gather some more things and that's just not going to happen on weekdays. So we made the controversial decision to decorate for Christmas before Halloween. Seems like a weird move, but it actually works well because we're not gonna be at our house for Halloween. We're gonna go to my brother and sister-in-law's house. So this will be the Christmas house. We'll go over there for Halloween and then we're in the Christmas spirit. So we just woke up, we're gonna make some coffee, listen to some Christmas music. Then we're gonna tear down some of our fall stuff. We're gonna clean a little bit and then start putting up some Christmas stuff. We're doing like a home church thing uh, with my family at 10.30. So we don't have too much time. We might not get to decorating right away, but I'll show you as we go along and let's get to decorating. Merry Christmas. We are gonna set out these pumpkins that we carved outside for our trick-or-treaters, so we will still be in the Halloween spirit. I'm feeling pretty successful. All of the fall stuff is down and cleared out. We're feeling clean. I still have to sweep and stuff, but I think everything's done except for this candle. I'm trying to really get away from scented candles, so I think I'm just gonna throw this out because now I can make my own candles. Okay, since we are decorating for Christmas so early and we still need to cater to the Halloween crowd, we moved the stuff in the corner that was inside out here. So we have a little fall display and then our two pumpkins that we carved. So we will still be in the fall vibes outside, but Christmas on the inside. Quite the mess, so I'm gonna go sweep. So quick update on the layout of the living room. We moved this bench over from under the window to the back of the couch. Those pots were originally next to the bench and we just put them on top so that we could have the Christmas tree under or by that other window. You can see that better a little bit here. So we thought this was gonna work really well and we thought we would maybe just have to shift the furniture just a little bit to make room for this tree. But it was way bigger than I originally thought and it was just not working. It was cumbersome to walk around. The whole living room ended up looking very lopsided because it was all shifted over. So we ended up pivoting and putting the Christmas tree where our end table was. Luckily we have a floor outlet, so it worked really, really well. We could bring back all the furniture and make everything centered again. And it's just a thousand times better. From there, it was a mad dash to get all the Christmas decorations up before we had to leave for the home church event. It was actually easier than I thought because all of the hooks were there from all of our fall decorations. So it wasn't too, too bad and we got a lot done before we had to leave. Also an update, this is our new quilt that we got in Michigan. We have always wanted a spring quilt and we thought this looked pretty springy, but we wanted to use it before uh, Christmas a little bit and it does kind of give Christmas vibes. So I'm obsessed with this quilt and we're going with okay, it. Okay, so it is a couple days later. I wanted to give a little bit of an update because we didn't fully complete our Christmas decorations 
on that Sunday. We did most of it, but there's a few other things that I'm doing today and then a couple other things that we have to order that I will show you. So I will give you a full tour, but this is what I'm doing right now. So I'm in our master bedroom and we have this tree and then we also have the tree that I showed you already um, out in the living room and we have not put any ornaments on either one of the trees yet. By the way, mix us high. So the topic of the ornaments was a little bit um, interesting because growing up, my family always put like these home, not homemade ornaments, but like maybe a couple of them were homemade, but mostly like the Hallmark, very unique ornaments. That's what we put on our main tree. However, my husband's family always did like very color coordinated bulbs and it all had a theme so it looked nice and like very cohesive. I do like the personalized and like Hallmark ornaments because we used to get some that aligned to all of our hobbies and our interests and stuff. So I thought it was really fun to show personality. So that was a little bit of a, you know, point of tension in our Christmas decorating. But since we moved into a bigger house, we are able to have two trees now. So all of my personal ornaments from my childhood are going on this tree in our bedroom. And then out in the living room, we're gonna do the cohesive look. I think we're gonna do like some silver muted red and green. I couldn't find any that I really, really liked at Michael's or Home Depot or anything like that. I think we found a good set online that we're gonna get. So those will be coming in a few days. But what I wanna do right now is unbox my childhood Christmas ornaments and put them on this tree. We'll continue to get personalized ornaments and just put them on this tree as we keep going like for our kids and for each other as the years go on because now we have a place to put them. This is my box of the Christmas ornaments. Here's a few other Christmas decorations that I don't think we'll necessarily use. We're pretty packed. So I'm gonna put these up and then I will show you the whole house tour of all the decorations. Okay, two things, two little updates. I put on my Disney Christmas sweater to just get in the more festive mood. And the second update is I have laid out all my Christmas ornaments here. This tells a lot about my interests and stuff as a kid. Like, okay, look at this picture of me as like a little kid. So cute. So I have some of these like custom ornaments, but then I'll have like tennis, taekwondo, dance, Irish step dancing, like, uh, flute, piano, these are all my hobbies as a little kid. I have a good amount of these like bulbs that I love. So this is really hitting me with a lot of nostalgia. I'm very excited to get them on the tree. I'm usually not that good at getting the spacing of all these correct or looking good, so I might have to call in reinforcements and bring my husband into this, but we're gonna try. Okay, let me show you the final results of our decorations and then I will make note of anything we still have to add. Okay, this is the final tree in our master bedroom. I'm so happy with it. I do still need to put a star on it and I think I might wanna put red bows or something. We have a few little cute decorations on our dresser. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that summerish plant. Um, maybe put it somewhere else in the house at least, but Mick says hi again. Then we got some of these cute little snowmen on our end tables. These were for my grandma. And then I gotta fix that guy's scarf, but some more snowmen, always cute. Walking in the front door, we have these little quilts, a uh, mini village, which I have to figure out what to do with the cords there, but um, we'll figure that out. Here's one of the other quilts up close. So we have one on each little pillar. These are very nostalgic for me. These were in like all of my family's houses growing up. Okay, so we have the tree in its proper place. We're gonna get a new tree skirt because our other ones are just too small now that we've upgraded the tree. We have the little Hallmark guys, um, which we try to buy the newest one every year. That's a little tradition we have. We have our stockings, but they still need to be hung up. None of the stocking holders seem to work on our mantle, like it's too rounded, but um, we're gonna try to get some of those this weekend. We have our two mini little trees with more ornaments for my grandma and we packed it with snow. So it looks very, very festive. So happy with how that turned out. And then our bench has all these little cute snowmen. We replaced the flowers with more festive flowers. Let's fix Frosty here. So we have all these little kind of knickknacks. We'll clear that off probably when people come over and people need to sit off on the bench. So 
that might not be final. We also have this little tree in the corner. I need to figure out the cord situation, but I love that little tree. We got it at Michael's a couple years ago. I'm obsessed. Going to the kitchen, we just have like a little simple decorations, the sleigh and a little joy sign that I think we're gonna hang up instead of just having it in the corner like that. We have as much garland as we can. And my favorite part is this nativity scene. So I was just talking about how I wanted a nativity scene. And it turns out my grandma had a very, very good one. Um, that was all ready to go. So we got this amazing set. It's very nice, like ceramic porcelain, and I love it. So those are our decorations that are done. The one other thing that we need to do is add garland to the handrail. We have some, but it's not long enough, and we kind of want to get like higher quality garland for this main handrail because that's the first thing you see when you walk in. So that is our house all decorated for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Of course, we have a few updates to make, but overall I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. I'm really glad we didn't actually end up having to buy that much stuff and a lot of my grandma's stuff was able to be used and fill up the space and everything. Some of these other bedrooms we'll probably do something else with. For right now, I'm just excited that the main living area is pretty much all decorated. So that is all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.